Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the first video of the tutorial dedicated to Project Lombok. In this video, we are going to understand what Project Lombok is, create a new Java project with Apache Maven, I will use the project until the end of the tutorial, create a new Java bin called Movie, create a unit test through JUnit5, import the Mave dependency of project Lombok and use the getter and setter annotation. Ready? Let's begin! First of all, we need to understand what project Lombok is. The project Lombok is a Java library that allows developer to reduce code generation wherever possible. This definition has been taken from the official documentation. But enough with the theory, let's start create the project right away. Follow me step by step. I open IntelliJ, I create a new project with Apache Maven. I put the name, the group and the artifact ID of the project. Perfect! For the moment there is no Java class inside the project. There is only the pomxml file where inside it is present the information of the project that we put during the creation step. The first thing that I decide to do is to create a new Java bean called movie inside the package org.js. In the movie class just created, I put the field id as long, title as a string, description and country as a string, rating as int, official site as a url, and finally language as a string. Finally, for each field, I add the several getter and setter methods. These are methods that we can avoid to create using the project Lombok. But before to do that, I decide to create a special test class for my movie class. First of all, I need to import the JUnit5 Maven dependency into my project. The version I decide to use is 5.5.2. I also specify other properties inside the pomxml such as the java version. Now I click on the Maven icon, I check that they have been imported correctly by clicking on the external libraries on the left side of the window. Perfect! Now I have everything that I need to create the movie test class to test my movie class. 
I want to test all the fields, therefore all the getter and setter methods for each field inside the movie class. Within the setup method, where I put the annotation before each, I create a new instance of the movie class using the keyword new. I use the setter methods to define a new movie. Title, I put as a string the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. The description, I just add a short description. Country, I put New Zealand and United States. The language, English. The rating, I put 8. For the official site, I create a new URL instance by entering the Lord of the Rings. Dot com. And finally, the ID with the value 1. I check that the movie just created is not null and it has the value 1 as ID. I do the same procedure for all get methods. First, I check that the movie is not null and then that the value of each field is the same as the one I put when I create the movie object inside the setup method. With the get methods done, it's time to test the set methods. For each method, I always check that the movie is not null, then I change the value of each field of the movie object using the appropriate set method and then check that its value has been set correctly. Great, now I'm going to run all the tests just implemented. Perfect, all tests were successfully performed without errors. It's time to import the Maven Lombok dependency inside the project. I add a new dependency by specifying org project Lombok as group ID, Lombok as artifact ID, and I must specify that the scope is provided. The version that I decide to use is 1.18.20.
perfect. Now I click on the Maven icon to import the new dependency into the project. I'm going to use the project Lumbok within the movie class. First, I remove all the getter and setter methods. Next, I add the annotation getter and annotation setter on the movie class. I also decided to run the test I implemented earlier. In theory, it should give me an error. Instead, the test has been successfully executed. This is the beauty of Project Lombok. At compilation time, Project Lombok adds the getter and setter method. So in this case, you have less code. We can see this by opening the compiled movie class. We conclude the first video of the tutorial dedicated to Project Lombok. I hope you learn a lot from this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos and tutorials that I will upload. And if you have any question or doubts, please don't hesitate to contact me or write a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.